I became a photographer to take photos, not to spend my day in front of this thing answering emails. I spent the last seven years of my career trying to find a way how to speed up how much time I spend in my inbox. I'm gonna share with you a method that I found that works. I've missed too many jobs, too many opportunities, and people wanting to pay me that enough is enough. I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step way that I've built this new type of inbox that will clearly prioritize your email, reduce your stress, and give you more time to shoot photos. By the end of this video, you'll have the same knowledge that I do and be able to fly through your emails in 10 minutes or less per day. So this is what we're trying to get your inbox to look like. The first thing you'll probably notice is that there's this new column on the right side. And you may be wondering, where are all the emails? Well, to get your inbox to this point, there's a three-step approach that we're gonna take here. We're gonna clean up your inbox. We're gonna get rid of all the stuff that you got in there and start from scratch. We're gonna set up a new inbox. You only have to do this once, and I'm gonna show you how to do this step-by-step. Step. And then I'm gonna show you how to use this new inbox and how to manage it and how to fly through your emails on the daily. Let's start with cleaning up our current inbox. We wanna do a deep clean on all of the messages that currently live in here. And I bet that 70% of the emails in your inbox right now are newsletters. Companies are sending you updates and they're probably trying to get you to spend money. Let's head over to unroll.me. We're gonna plug in our email address and this is gonna show you all of the mailing lists that your email is on. I love this website because you can mass unsubscribe to all these lists in just a few clicks. I actually made an Instagram reel sharing about this website and the people really love this and they said that it helped them out a whole bunch. Of course, there's some newsletters that you'll probably wanna stay subscribed to, but try to remove yourself from as many of these as possible. There's a neat option called Add to Rollup that consolidates all your newsletters that you wanna receive into a single email that will arrive in your inbox rather than multiple emails from multiple senders. Somehow I'm subscribed to something called Oscar at cardmagicpro.com. Oscar, if you're watching this, sorry, but unsubscribe. There's another weird one here called hs-send at h, like, what is this? Unsubscribe. Social boost light, unsubscribe. Drove a trip, gone. Viral promoters at viral promo, gone. Viral trend forge, gone. Get rid of all of these. If these people wanna get a hold of you, they'll find a way. Just by doing this, you're gonna reduce the amount of useless stuff entering your inbox. I would love to hear how many emails you unsubscribe to. Let me know in the comments. So now that we've slowed down the junk mail that will be entering our inbox, let's tackle the mail that's currently in there. There's two ways that we're gonna do this. There's archiving and deleting. Archiving an email removes it from the inbox, but it can still be searched for if you need it at a later date. Deleting something means that it goes into the trash folder and it disappears forever after 30 days. You can manually go through your messages in your inbox, or we can search for similar types of messages and decide what we're gonna do with them. Here's a couple search terms that we can type into the search bar to quickly find all the emails that apply with that filter. And you can decide if you wanna keep them, archive them, or delete them. Doing this is going to be so much faster than going through your emails one by one. Our email inbox is looking so good, so much cleaner. So if you stopped here, I'm sure that you would be stoked, but why stop? This next part is going to rebuild your inbox and turn you into an absolute machine. Let's hop over into the settings because that's where we're gonna be changing all of the settings to optimize what our inbox is gonna look like. So in settings, open labels, scroll down and click create new label. I've created five categories, action items, waiting for response, read later, receipts, and newsletters. From there, let's move over to the inbox tab and change your inbox to multiple inboxes. This tells Gmail that we want to use our normal inbox, but we add those new columns on the right-hand side. Below that, in the multiple inbox sections, we add the names of the labels that we just created. So type in L colon, and then action items with a dash in between the words. And we're gonna add five sections here with the labels that we just created. Below that, I'll have it show 10 messages and tell Gmail to show you the multiple inboxes on the right-hand side. You can do a mouse orb, but I think the right-hand side is the easiest. And don't forget to hit save. When we go back to our main Gmail screen, we're gonna see that we have these columns on the right-hand side. You probably won't have anything in these sections yet. I do, because I've set this up already. My receipts go in the receipt section, newsletters go here, and under read later, I have some mailing lists that I'm a part of. Some of those are The Published Press, Easlow, John Ushai, 
and Ula from A Vibrant Mind. I've unsubscribed to a lot of mailing lists, but I choose to stay subscribed to many because I wanna know what's happening, I wanna be informed, and many of these share insights and stuff that I'm interested in, and some of them even teach me new skills. Speaking of new skills, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. I have been wanting to level up my productivity and with classes and learning paths on Skillshare, it has been easy to learn. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes led by industry experts across photography, film, illustration, design, productivity, and more. Skillshare can help you take your careers, skills, hobbies, passions, or side hustles to the next level. Skillshare has implemented learning paths, which are curated sequential class collections to master a specific skill. If I wanna become a better content creator with ChatGPT, there's a learning path for that where there's five curated classes to learn this skill. Maybe summer means you're on a break from school, maybe you're on summer holidays, or maybe you're just committed to learning and summer is just the perfect time to do that. Even with my busy summer schedule, I plan to make the most of my summer by watching How to Speak More Confidently on Camera with Nathaniel Drew and leveling up my productivity with a class from Thomas Frank. The first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. It's free, so what are you waiting for? I actually found out about Skillshare through a similar offer like this in the past, and I watch classes about Pinterest and SEO and how to improve my photography skills. There's so many great classes and teachers, so check it out. I know you're gonna find one that you're gonna enjoy. We're almost done in the settings, so let's set up some filters to automatically sort some of the incoming emails into specific folders, like how I have newsletters and receipts being automatically sorted into their proper sections. This is likely going to be an ongoing process because you're gonna be making new purchases from a new vendor, but once you set it up for an email address, it's set up forever. Find a sender that you get stuff from regularly. For me, let's say it's the published press. Let's find the email address that they send their newsletter from and copy the email address. Head back into settings, filters and blocked addresses. Scroll to the bottom, click create new filter. Paste the email address and select skip the inbox and apply the label read later that we just made. I pick skip the inbox because then I don't get alerted when I get this email. It just automatically shows up in this section and I can read it whenever I want. You can do this with any of the companies that send you regular receipts or something similar. And that's the hardest part. Your email inbox is set up for success. So far, we've cleaned up our inbox. We've created a new inbox and set up some parameters for what this inbox is gonna look like. So let's quickly touch on how to approach this new inbox setup. All of the emails you receive are going to show up in this column except for the ones from the senders that we created filters for. The emails I receive from newsletters are gonna go here and the ones from the receipts are going to appear straight in here and I'm not even gonna be notified about them. They're here for when I wanna deal with them or read them later. When I open my email inbox and I see there's new emails, there's a few things I can do. If I can respond to this right away and it takes less than a minute or two, then I do that and then I archive the message. If I'm waiting on information or it will require a few minutes to respond to or I have to find an attachment or something, I add it to the action items. If I'm waiting for a response, I'll add it to waiting for response. And if it's not relevant or spam, I just delete it. Remember, you can't drag the emails right onto the section where you want it to appear. You have to drag it onto the left-hand sidebar into the proper category. It's kind of annoying, but just keep that in mind if you're wondering why it's not working. Sometimes I get emails that are not relevant for right now or are date specific, like tickets for an event. And I don't want those to sit in my inbox and I may miss them if I add them to a different category. So when I get emails like this, I snooze them for a later date, like the morning of that event. And now that all of this is set up, I try to spend less than 10 minutes a day in here. I'm a creative person and being in my inbox does not get me excited. I wanna hold a camera or have some great conversations. I try to open my inbox once in the morning to organize the new emails and respond to anything that takes less than two minutes and once in the afternoon to see if there's any follow-ups or tackle the messages that take a few minutes to respond to. The key to making this thing work is getting into the habit of archiving or deleting emails once they're no longer needed 
or snoozing them until you do need them. I find having more than one page of emails is overwhelming and I don't even know where to begin. So I try to keep this section clear and categorize my messages into a section that tells me what to do with that message. This email system has saved me hours and hours of time to help me prioritize my inbox, reduce my stress, and help me not miss the important emails from potential clients. I may have missed some stuff in this video, so if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help you. My name's Davey and thanks for letting me spill the gravy. We'll see you guys in the next video.